Now to the Vatican's explosive new report tonight about disgraced former Cardinal Theodore McCarrick. What the report reveals about Pope John Paul II and what the Vatican says he knew. Here's our senior foreign correspondent tonight, Ian Panel. Tonight, an explosive Vatican report revealing Pope John Paul II knew about extensive sexual abuse allegations regarding adults and minors against Theodore McCarrick, but still promoted him to Archbishop and then Cardinal. McCarrick, at one time one of the most powerful Catholics in America, directed millions of dollars to the church, even as allegations and rumours surfaced for decades. The 400-page report lays most of the blame on John Paul II, now a saint whose friendship with McCarrick dated back to the 1970s. In 2000, he appointed McCarrick to the helm of the church in Washington, D.C., despite knowing of reports that he'd shared a bed with seminarians at a beach house. The report concludes that Pope John Paul II ultimately chose to believe McCarrick's denial of those allegations. James Grind claims McCarrick abused him for two decades, starting as a child in the 1960s. While the report itself is powerful, the abuse to me was incredibly heinous and it hurts forever. McCarrick was defrocked by Pope Francis last year amid more allegations. Both Pope Benedict and Pope Francis emerged largely unscathed by this report, but it raises tough questions going forward for the church. David? Ian, panel tonight. Ian, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.